Hey everyone, um, I'm super excited to share with you all an overview of our food cycle for the faster way to fat loss. So hopefully by now you've all had time to look through the program guide and to um, just kind of see what our food cycle looks like. If not, make sure you do that. That program guide is very important, so make sure you take the time to look through that. Um, but what you've noticed, if you have looked through it, is that we participate in low carb days, regular macro days, um, low macro days, and also um, 24 hour fast. Um, so what I wanna do is talk to you all about each of those um, days and what that looks like. So we're gonna start with low carb day because that is what we typically start with at the beginning of the week. Monday and Tuesday will be our low carb days. Um, and what a low carb day looks like is we focus on consuming 50 net carbs or less. Net carbs will be your total carbs minus your total fiber, and that will give you your net carbs. And it's, um, the My Fitness Pal video that was uploaded will show you exactly how to find that. So make sure you watch that video and get your My Fitness Pal set up with the correct goals. Um, so the purpose of low carb days is to deplete our glycogen stores. Um, when we do that, our, our bodies are able to burn triglycer trigly triglycerides, excuse me, which is fat for fuel. Um, most of my clients that come into the faster way have never allowed their bodies to really burn fat because most of us have um, um, glycogen stores that um, we never participate in enough low carb days to really tap into that triglyceride or fat for fuel. Um, when you when you participate in low carb days, what you do is you you focus on being at a certain amount of carbs and we focus on trying to participate in fasted cardio, meaning um, we typically do HIIT trainings, Tabata workout or sprint intervals so that we can really um, deplete that glycogen store. Um, and what the glycogen store is, is just the carbohydrates that you've consumed. Those are um, stored in your muscles and that's what our body uses for um, fuel first. Um, but when you participate in low carb days, then you're, you're decreasing the amount of carbs that you're um, intaking and you're also participating in that high intensity interval fasted cardio workout and that helps deplete that glycogen store so that you can tap into burning fat for fuel. Um, so we, we want to transition our bodies into being fat burners, not sugar burners. And these low carb days are absolutely important and essential that um, we take them very seriously. Um, so those are always gonna be Monday and Tuesday. And again, we wanna focus on 50 net carbs or less. Now what I wanna do is show you all what that, your, your macro screenshot will look like on a low carb day. Um, so let me turn the screen around here. So on a low carb day, your um, macro screenshot will, will look kind of similar to this. Your fats will definitely be at least half, if not a little bit more than your pie chart, and that's perfect. Um, I typically say your fats should be anywhere from 45% to 65% of your pie chart. Your protein should be about the same as it would on a regular macro day, maybe 5% more. Um, so, and then your carbohydrates will be a very small percentage right here. So if you look at your grams, if you notice right here, um, 39 grams of carbs is what's listed, but I think yeah, she actually had 30 net carbs. Um, your, her fat was 61 grams, which is um, good. You can actually be a little bit higher on that. Um, I typically try to be anywhere from 80 to 100 grams of fat. And don't be scared, fat is good for you. Fat won't make you fat if you're eating the right fats okay um and then protein she was around 100 grams so that's perfect and typically that's what i am on a low carb day i usually am around 80 to 100 grams in fat and usually around 80 to 100 grams in protein so um when you are doing let me go back okay when you are um on participating in a low carb day the good healthy fats that you want to incorporate would be avocado and um, you want to eat lots of healthy nuts like almonds, cashews, 
macadamia nuts are great, Brazilian nuts. Um, I don't tip, don't I don't typically like peanuts um, for a source of fats um, because they do have more carbs and plus they're just not as good of a nut as your other nuts that you have. Nut butters are great. Um, cooking in um, coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil is perfect. And then of course you get a great source of fat from your meats as well. So you'd want to consume a lot of healthy fats and moderate protein and 50 net carbs or less on a low carb day. And then you want to try your best to participate in a fasted cardio. If you can't, it's fine. I have lots of clients who don't just for the simple fact that they are not morning people. They have to go to work and then they usually do the workouts in the evening or at night after their kids have gone to bed. So whatever works for you. A few things about low carb day is you actually might almost feel like you're going through a detox, um, especially if you're used to eating a lot of um, highly processed foods, you are going to maybe experience some headaches, some dizziness, lightheadedness, um, and those will all go away. Um, but what you want to do is make sure that you consume lots and lots of water, keep yourself very hydrated on low carb days, and that will help deal you'll get through those symptoms um, by consuming a lot of water. And then after a couple of weeks, your body will be used to it because you'll be fueling your body with whole food nutrition and it will get used to having those good foods instead of all that processed stuff. Um, next, we after the two low carb days, then we participate in regular macro days on Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. On regular macro days, we also participate in strength training days. Um, and so it, this is essential um, for we strategically pair the strength training days with the macro, the regular macro days, because you want to make sure you're consuming healthy carbohydrates and um, to help build up those muscles and recover from those workouts. So healthy carbs, what I consider healthy carbs would be quinoa, brown rice, sweet potatoes, your veggies, your fruits, and um, oats are a great source of healthy carbs as well. We try to stay away from as much breads and pastas as possible. If you're going to, you know, consume those things, and I, I say do those on days where you're working your legs, either on Wednesdays or Saturdays. Um, and so on Wednesdays, we do a total body strength workout, which we work everything from head to toe. And Thursday, we work our upper, upper body, and we focus a lot on the back, which is our second largest muscle in our body. And then on on Saturdays, that is our leg day. And that is what we also um, call our treat day. And so what our treat day is, is basically, if it fits in your macros, you can have a treat that day. And that treat can be whatever you want, whether it's a donut, ice cream, wine, whatever. Um, that is going to be the day for the treat. And you want to make sure it fits in your macros. You're going to track your treat. And um, just don't take your treat day too lightly and make it an all out cheat day. Okay. Um, so definitely make sure you track them, you track whatever you're eating and that it's going to fit in your macros. Okay. So on regular macro days, you're going to, you're going to be consuming 50% carbs around 30% fats and 20% proteins. And what that will look like on your pie chart is, let me go over here to this one. It's roughly it'll look similar to this, okay? Again, it might it's not gonna be perfect most of the time, but it will be close. And that is perfectly fine with me. Um now everyone is going to have different goals, and let's just go on and be clear about that because you're gonna see that some people have different goals for um their grams and carbs, fats and proteins. And this is actually a low macro day um pie chart. But again, if your low macro and your regular macros are going to look the same. It's just your grams. They're going to be a little bit higher on a regular macro day. Um, but don't be worrying about what Susie gets for her carbohydrates and what, and what Amy gets for her fats and that she gets more or gets less and you don't understand why. Don't worry about that. I want you all to worry about your goals because we're all unique. We all have our own goals. We all are different sizes, different heights, different weights. So you focus on what you are working towards, okay? So th that's going to be one of the screenshots that you all send me each and every day. And so it kind of looks similar. So half of it should be about 
50% or roughly should be your carbs. And then the other half will be about an even split between your fat and your protein, give or take a little. Okay. Um, so that is regular macro days. Again, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And then on Friday and Sunday, we will participate in a low macro days. So low macro day is going to be 25% less macros across the board. So if you, if your goal for carbohydrates is 200 grams, then you're going to consume 25% less than that. So what that looks like is you're going to take your 200 times 0.25. So we're going to subtract off 50 from our 200, which is going to give us 150 car, carbs for a low macro day. Okay. Same for protein. Say your, your goal is 100, 100 times 0.25. We're going to take off 25, so 75 grams of protein is what your goal would be for a low macro day. Our low macro days are paired with our rest slash active recovery days. We take these very serious, ladies. These days um, are used to help um, to rest our bodies, to help our muscles um, rebuild, and, and just your body needs the rest. So don't be participating in crazy workouts on low macro days. Low macro days are used for rest slash active recovery. So active recovery, if you want to participate in something, would be a, a long walk, would be maybe going for a hike with your family, um, some gentle yoga, you can go to the sauna, um, but it's going to be where your, rest, your heart rate is at a, a pace where you could carry on a conversation very easily, okay? Please take them seriously. Um, it is important that we, um, we participate in our active recovery slash rest days. And the reason being is because if you are constantly working out, over-exercising, over-exercising, and then under-eating, like you're on a low macro day, and you're constantly doing that, you're going to damage something, okay? And that something is going to be your thyroid more than likely because I'm speaking from experience. Um, so take it from me. I damaged my thyroid um, by over-exercising, under-eating for too long, and um, lesson learned. So um, just take my advice when I say rest is good for you, okay, and make sure that you are getting enough of it. It will affect your journey in, in burning fat. If you have um, thyroid issues, you won't be able to burn fat effectively and your energy levels are gonna be low, okay? So let's, let's just take my advice and make sure you rest on low macro days or do active recovery and, and a very light workout, okay? And so then the last thing I wanna to touch on is our 24 hour fast slash optional juice cleanse. Um, we will participate the, in those during weeks four, five, and six. And the juice cleanse is optional, and there's lots of benefits to both. If the juice cleanse is great, it will flood your body with lots of micronutrients, and there's lots of other benefits to it as well. And then the 24-hour um, fast um, is great. It will actually help accelerate the fat-burning process. So if you choose to do just the 24 hour fast, we just focus on drinking lots of water, herbal teas, and um, the black coffee is still okay um, as well. But we will, what I'll do is during week three, I'll do a live call. We'll talk, we'll talk about, you know, the, the 24 hour fast, the 24 hour juice cleanse and the benefits and, and how to order the juice cleanse if you want to do that. And um, so just note that during week three, we will touch on that. So um, your food cycle is going to be the same through the entire program, except for during weeks four, five, and six, when we do have that 24 hour, um, fast or juice cleanse. Um, I want you all to trust the process and know it can be a little overwhelming at first, uh, especially during prep week and week one, just learning all the, the, um, nutritional strategies that we use in the fast way to fat loss. But prom I promise you all, you all are going to end up really loving the food cycle. Uh, I know personally for me, I love low carb days, but by the end of Tuesday, I am so ready for regular macro day. So I love the uh, variation of how that works and um, the benefits that I reap from that. And hopefully you are going to love it too. So if you all have questions, just post them in the comment thread and I will answer those questions for you all. Bye.